hello guys uh, welcome back to prospect channel tv thank you very much for always coming out here may god bless you all senate president ahmed lawar a former governor of akwa state godwin okbabio and other politicians who obtained more than one nomination form had committed an electoral offense and were liable to two years imprisonment under the electoral act 2022 this was disclosed by the resident electoral commissioner in Akwaibom State, Mr. Mike Enige, on Tuesday. He stated this while featuring on Chinese TV, quoting Section 115 D in bracket of the Electoral Act 2022. Igini said a person who signs a nomination paper or resort form as a candidate in more than one constituency at the same election commits an offense and is liable on conviction to a maximum term of imprisonment for two years. Guinea said by constituency, the electoral term refers to a separate election, whether it is presidential go governorship, senatorial, the House of Representatives, or that of State Assembly. He said any candidate who runs a form of this law is liable to be jailed for two years, and that section 115 in bracket even states that an attempt to obtain multiple forms is an offense. Section 115 D in bracket of the 2022 Electoral Act stipulates that no person shall sign obtain more than one form as a candidate for different elections and the offense for that under subsection uh, k beyond the financial he will go to two years imprisonment some people are claiming that they participated in one election that they fight two forms they fit two forms it's ignorance of the law and it is not an excuse. We are preventing them from being candidates for prison and they are calling our names everywhere, the commissioner said. He insisted that INEC did not monitor the primaries that produced Okbabio as a senatorial candidate for Akwaibom Northwest. Okbabio had contested the presidential ticket of the All Progressive Congress, APC, but he withdrew from the race on June 7th and asked his supporters to back Bola Tinubu, a former Lagos state governor who eventually emerged APC presidential candidate. Prior to the presidential primary on May 27th, Udom, a former deputy inspector general of police, had won the primary election for the Akwa Ibom Northwest senatorial ticket. A parent a parallel primary election was conducted and won by Ike Peripe Ikepo. However, it was later cancelled over irregularities. Why a rerun was conducted on June 8, with Okbabu declared as winner of the exercise. Lawar, after losing the APC presidential ticket, reportedly asked by Machina, would the winner of the UB North Senatorial Primary to relinquish the ticket. This implies that the Senate President and Okbabio might have secretly obtained the nomination form for the senatorial seat of their respective districts while also seeking a presidential ticket. By ignorant submission, other politicians who might have evaluated the electoral acts included Governor Ben Ayode of Cross River State, Amino Tabowe of Sokoto State, and Bella Mohammed of Bauchi State. <laughs> they have said it now. We they implement it. Very true, but my problem is most of these leaders, either by omission or commission, have failed to read and digest just the amended electoral acts as passed 2022 by the president 
so surprising is the the lawyers among them and a president of the senate that was part of this jungling or rejungling of the law before it was pre uh, promulgated into law by the president's seal this is very sad hmm. it it won't happen in a country red led with corrupt politicians going to jail why only happen in the dream not in reality it can't happen if they go to jail for this reason in nigeria i will walk naked for two days on the street nigeria has weak institutions so even the senate president has been ignorant of the very law that passed under his nose they know anything you see why it is very sad to have or approved lawmakers in our uh, uh, parliamentary buildings they will need a non-parliamentarian to teach them the very law passed by them it is really sad you have not mentioned one candidate behind my backyard you just won arranged senate primaries last saturday he's a scaled goat his name is I hear. <laughs> okay, I don't want to say that. Uh, does it mean National Assembly members did not read or understand the electoral law? They amended. I listened to Igini in the morning on Channel TV trying to interpret the electoral law as amended to senators who picked two firms of different elective positions. Sanity has come to stay in our electoral process, at least. It will reduce greed. I wonder why Mwike did not go for Senate after unable to win PDP presidential ticket. Hmm. These people, they don't know anything. That is the truth. We are being led by blind people. That is why we are still here today. They know nothing. Even the law they pass by themselves, they can't even interpret it. This is very sad. Let's see how it goes. Will this work? That is the question. So, guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much for this coming out here. Bye for now.